Good morning and welcome to the Polly the Wog channel. Have you ever thought to yourself, is it really worth it to go street scrapping? Well, in this video, I hope to answer those questions for you. We're going to go street scrapping and it's going to begin right now. First stop of the evening, a couple of chairs, a couple of nice heavy chairs. Okay, I'm making a mess. Two chairs in the trailer. Got a snow blower that a friend gave us before we headed out scrapping today. And let's see what's next. Hmm. We got one little pink garbage can. That's empty, no insert. Just a nice clean piece of metal. There we go. Found ourselves a fluorescent light fixture that my brother might want to use. Looks like it's in perfectly good shape. Yep. You can take two bulbs and two fluorescent bulbs. It just needs, that's why they got rid of it. That oh, end piece that needs end to be broke. broke. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, I just got my new light for my uh, African light. Yeah, it's a nice heavy duty one. I just forgot to film how to stop. We found this patio umbrella, this piece of uh, weird bicycle extension thingy. I'm not even sure what you would call that. A little electronic down here. And then the coolest thing, I found myself a brass cymbal. So hey, that's all right. Add that to the brass collection. And just like that, we find some more scrap metal. Toss this in, oh, just like that. Found ourselves a little racky piece. That's nice and heavy. All right, well, it's in there. Well, look at that. We have gone a long time without finding a major appliance, so we're gonna get this thing loaded in. Yeah. Looks like this lid's already detached. Oops, just whacked my phone. All right, we're gonna get this all loaded in. There, we got it in there. I had to rearrange a bit. I just hooked that over that handle. All right, now at the last second we saw this little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Get rid of that cloth. Stick that down in there. I've got this big umbrella and my brother took the little spreader. There's nothing wrong with this. No, I can see the thing spinning underneath. Yeah, I mean, the, the door works. Yeah, let, me, let me see if I can stick this in here. Go ahead. Oh yeah, I figured this one had a scrapper in front of us, but they chose to bypass this chair. We're gonna take it. So we've already got so much enamel tin already. It's one more thing, all right? I don't think we want that last little piece. Oh, nice long lounge chair. 
All right, I'm gonna need both my hands to get this loaded in. We found ourselves a vacuum. We normally don't take them, but this one's a Kirby, so I think we're gonna take it. Yeah, these old Kirby vacuums, that's all metal on the bottom, right? So I'm gonna load right, so this So we up. just found ourselves a barbecue and a couple of chairs, but we gotta figure out how the heck we're gonna load that on here. We could always just put it right on here and strap it all down. Yep, so yeah, we're just going to throw it up on there. We got it up on there. <laughs> we're going to throw a big strap over it. Yeah, definitely a better load than what we have been finding lately, but still kind of janky. Yeah, those things always just fold under the pressure. I think I'm gonna put a second, maybe third strap on. Yeah, yeah. Second one on the barbecue, third one over this launcher. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get this all strapped in. They wrapped it all up. If they had to just put a bow on it. That would have been perfect. All right, I'm gonna grab these and load them up. Added in our 40 pounds of bed rails. I'm just gonna throw a little bungee cord on it to make sure they don't slip out anywhere. And with that, I think we're pretty much done. If we see something on the way home, we'll probably stop and grab it, but otherwise, that's probably just about it. So we made it back home, and this is everything we got for the night. It's definitely uh, a better load than what we've been getting the last uh, week or two. Uh, that aluminum lounge chair, that chair on top is definitely aluminum, so that's going to come off and get processed. But the rest of this is all heading to the scrapyard. I got myself a handful of cords here, so that wasn't bad. Another couple of pounds of cords and my uh, awesome broken brass cymbal, so that will go into my brass collection. Those are the two things I collect. I collect cords and I collect the brass, and my brother collects everything else. So... I don't know, what do you think this load's gonna be worth? I am going to guess that this is probably gonna go as mixed scrap, you know, so a combination of enamel tin and regular tin. And I'm gonna think that we're gonna get $75 for this. I don't know. All right, well, let's find out. All right, so we took that load into the scrap yard and it turned out that we had 660 pounds of tin shred on the trailer, currently going at $265 per ton or 13.25 cents per pound. It gave us a grand total payout of $87.45. Not too shabby. And we had an extra little special surprise. When we went out to our trailer, one of our neighbors had added a little bit of scrap onto the trailer for us. And guess what it was? Yeah, that's right. I don't know if this is a baritone or what kind of instrument it is. It's smaller than a tuba. The valves here all still work on it and everything. I threw it on a scale and this weighs six pounds of brass. If I scrap this at the scrapyard, I'm gonna get about $21 Canadian for this. But in my opinion, this is too good to scrap. Like, you know, it seems like a functional instrument. I could probably be resold, but if nothing else, this makes for an excellent decoration. So I'm keeping this. <laughs> but yeah, that was a surprise to find six pounds of a brass instrument just lying in our trailer. So one of our neighbors just threw it in there, but hey, I'll take it. All right, thanks for watching. And I'm gonna see you in the next one.